Another really good way to limit the amount of material that's being purged or wasted for your project is actually adjusting the layer height of your project. Most times it's going to be set to something like 0.2 millimeters, but if you change it over to something like 0.28, then you have physically decreased the amount of layers and therefore decreased the amount of layer changes that need to take place. And you'll see a significant drop in wasted material that isn't being put into your project. You can also allocate where that purge material is going. So instead of just being wasted, it actually has a use. If we go over to the others tab, we can see that one of the flushing options that we can do is to flush all of the material into the support material or into the infill. So all of that wasted poop is actually going to be used. Finally, and most important, the amount of material that you're purging and wasting on a single part can seem really substantial. But if you copy that part, it still has the exact same amount of purged material. So if you're planning on batch printing lots and lots of parts, make sure you print them all at exactly the same time because the amount of wasted material per part dramatically decreases.